Being born and raised in Canada, you become very in tune with the environment, making sure that Canada stays green and healthy. I think it's very important. We're in a transition phase to a newer, more diverse form of energy production. Canada is a bright and breezy place, so we should take full advantage of all our, our resources. Currently, I live on a farm in rural Ontario. I maintain a garden. I maintain cattle and chickens and, you know, the solar panels that are on the farm and what I do for a living, it all goes hand in hand. Sustainable energy is important because I want the same options for my children and grandchildren that I have. Many people choose to live in the city and that's fine, but I choose to live out here where I can embrace the things that we use to, to make energy, the wind and the sun. Sustainable energy is, is a quiet energy, it's peace. Yeah, we're farming, we're at about 1,400 acres now, two or three times the size of the land my father and grandfather had farmed. I think my brothers and I are doing our part to help out with the environment with solar and wind power here on the farm. You have farms that have been there for hundreds of years, farmers that have been doing this their whole lives. They're embracing the new technology of wind power and solar power. It's the greenest technology there is. It's the friendliest to the environment. Sustainability is powering homes and you're powering businesses with energy that is around us every day. So a turbine, depending on the size of the megawatt output, can power roughly 150 to 600 homes. A 10 megawatt solar field can produce power for anywhere between 35 to 4,500 homes. There's a large section of the solar farm that hasn't been constructed at all, it's been left natural. It's a very peaceful environment. You get a real sense that you're stepping right back into nature even when you're on a 10 megawatt solar farm. I've got a one-year-old mixed shepherd dog, his name Matilda, and I get to bring her to site every day. She's certainly one of the luckier ones. You set a turbine in the middle of a field and the birds are not disturbed, the, the wind is still blowing, the crops can be planted, there's no pollution, it's responsible. We ended up going with eight towers. They fit right in with the land. It's like it sprouted right out of the ground. We were on the leading edge of something very, very right and very smart for this area. Wind power is, is a good thing. GDF Suez put a lot of effort into ensuring that both solar and wind projects are built to the highest environmental standard. We spread the wealth around the community by hiring multiple companies to fulfill our contract needs. When the wind check shows up, it's a pretty good day. It puts a smile on our face. It's a substantial amount of money that we weren't going to make from farming. It is good for the farm economy on a large scale. These turbines do change the character of our community, but all the money that the farmers get who lease the property for the turbines, it all gets spent locally. So it does recycle back into the community and it does benefit the community as a whole. We have projects all the way across the country and it's been exciting working as a group towards a common goal. It's wonderful to get up in the morning and watch the sun rise over your fields and hit your own solar panels and know that clean, sustainable energy is keeping the future bright for your children. And it does feel great to be working for a company that is so aggressively pursuing sustainable development. It makes me proud to be Canadian and working for this company. I would suggest that anyone that has the land to go ahead and do it. You'll be glad you did. Every one of us should be doing our part to keep the environment clean. It's too fragile to be playing with. Come along.